Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the Astrological Update for Scorpio for the week starting the 20th of August. Now this week, there are some challenges in the skies for all of us. For you in particular, you're urged to ask yourself, how adventurous am I allowing myself to be? Am I allowing myself to stretch myself and be all that I could be? And that is because there is a cardinal grand cross. We have Venus in the ninth, squaring Moon in the twelfth, we, and that is squaring Pluto in the third, squaring Uranus in the sixth. There's a part of you that wants to engage and really connect with people on a soul level. There's another part of you that feels a bit of a hermit. All these disparate parts of you are being brought to the surface and you may be going, who am I and what do I want? But deep within your soul, a deeper, deeper, deeper part is going, I need to challenge my beliefs and I need to embrace a new philosophy to move forward. And the message is coming up loud and clear. These cardinal grand crosses, they do not mess about. We also have the sun entering the 11th on the 23rd. So you are feeling actually quite friendly and able to communicate, certainly on a surface level, the appearance of the sun is allowing you to be very friendly and open towards other people. And Mars enters your first house. And that's very, very good on the 24th. You're feeling like your batteries are charged. You're feeling sensual. You're feeling full on. You're feeling you've got the power to overcome things and face things and confront things in your life fearlessly. Now, whatever this awfully big adventure is that you're going on, you're able to do it with vim and vigor and with a sense of your old soul, your soul from, from many centuries being with you on this journey. Now, on the 25th, there is a grand fire trine, which is great. Trines are fabulous. And actually, you know what? Out of all the signs, you're able to deal with them squares because you do look at things on a very deep level. But anyway, when the trine comes, Uranus is in the sixth house, trining Mercury in the tenth, trining Moon in the second. You're able to really go for it when it comes to your career. And again, fearlessly and optimistically make a transformation where you put yourself out there. And that little game should pay off. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.